welcome to the latest version of SciChart JS 3.4. This release is packed with significant features, improvements, and bug fixes. Let's take a deep dive into what's new. The first new feature is hoverable annotations with tooltips. Annotations now have an on-hover callback and an annotation hover modifier, allowing you to add behaviors such as tooltips or getting notified when a user hovers over an annotation. Here's a quick example. You can use the on hover callback, which has arguments containing the sender, mouse arguments, and whether the annotation is hovered. To make this work, you need to add an annotation hover modifier to the chart, which also has a global on hover callback for configuring its behavior. The documentation page provides a simple example showing how to add hover to an annotation and change its color. We've added data labels to the stacked column series. If you check out the stacked column example, you'll now see data labels above the columns. This works in both 100% stacked and normal stacked modes, and data labels can be turned on or off. To enable data labels, simply add an object with the relevant properties to the stacked column series. The API documentation provides examples and further details on how to customize data labels. A new smoothing algorithm has been added for stacked mountain series, providing a smooth and visually appealing effect using Bezier curves. This smoothing works in 100% stacked and normal modes. If you head to the demo site, you can click on View Source on GitHub to see how this example is set up. The drawexample.ts file shows you how to create a side chart surface with smooth stacked renderable series. Check out the documentation for the Smooth Stacked Renderable series to see how to implement this in your own charts. You can also experiment with this in the CodePen example. We've also introduced alternative line smoothing using Bezier curves. This is demonstrated in the React Spline line chart and React Band chart demos. Here, you'll find a GIF showing how the Bezier curvature can be edited. The spline line example is interactive, and if you view the source code on GitHub, you'll see how we've added a spline line series and then a Bezier data series. The Bezier render data transform is applied to the line renderable series, giving us this alternative smoothing algorithm. Documentation for the Bezier Render Transforms is available to help you apply this smoothing algorithm. Animations have been improved in SciChart JS 3.4 and now include reversible animations and an incomplete callback for more control over animation and events. You can explore the Animations API documentation for more insights on new features. We've added a new engineering format for access labels. When this format is enabled, labels on the access will display values such as 1K, 1M, or 1B, instead of 1000, 1 million, and so on. Additional properties have been added to allow for customization of label prefixes. You can see an example of this in the React Population Pyramid, which shows how the engineering format works. The documentation provides more on how to enable and customize this format. We've also added the option to disable the loader animation, which appears while the chart initializes. You can disable it by setting loader false when creating the chart. The cursor modifier is now compatible with non-uniform heat maps and contour series. View the updated documentation, which includes examples on how to add cursors with tooltips into your charts and format cursor labels with custom values. The documentation for both the non-uniform heatmap series and contour series reflects all these changes. A 
new helper method has been introduced for creating pallet providers based on Y values. The palletfactory.createY gradient function allows you to color data points in a series based on their Y values. We've updated our examples to show how to call create Y gradient and apply it to a renderable series. The Palette Factory documentation provides additional details and interactive examples in CodePen. Now, SVG annotations can be placed behind the chart series or grid lines. Previously, they could only be placed above the chart. The React Chart Annotation Layers example shows how to layer annotations above or below the chart. We've introduced the Side Chart Horizontal Group, which allows you to synchronize vertically arranged charts. This ensures that zooming, panning, cursors and tooltips are synchronized across the charts, and it also keeps axis sizes consistent. There's new documentation on how to synchronize multiple charts, so be sure to check it out. We've added data point width modes for column, error bar and candle series. Previously, you could specify the percentage of space a data point occupied, but this caused issues when data was sparse or unevenly spaced. The new modes, absolute, range and relative help solve this. Documentation includes examples that show how the modes work and how to apply them to your charts. Using the Render Transforms API, you can now apply multiple styles within a single series. For example, you have different colors, point markers, or line styles within the same line or column series. The React chart with multiple styles demo shows how to use this feature, and the documentation for Render Data Transforms provides more examples to help you get started. We have improved the Render Transforms API to allow for splitting lines at thresholds. Previously, the entire segment of a line would be colored, but now you can split the line and insert an extra point to achieve more precise threshold coloring. The documentation includes examples and interactive code pens, where you can play around with line splitting by thresholds. We've added tools for memory leak debugging. These include tests and best practices for initializing and cleaning up charts. Use these tests to help identify memory issues in your own applications. GitHub contains examples to demonstrate how to avoid memory leaks in your applications. Finally, We've created several new React and JavaScript demos, including Population Pyramid, Editable Annotations, Annotation Layers, Hoverable Buy or Sell Markers with Tooltips, Multi-Series Style, and Line Splitting by Thresholds. We've significantly improved the documentation. We've added new pages on Vertical Slice Modifier, Smooth Stack Renderable Series, Engineering Format for Access Labels, and Render Data Transforms. Documentation now includes tags showing if links lead to API references or documentation pages, enhancing navigation. As always, this release includes many bug fixes. You can find more details in the changelog, available on our website under the Developers section.
that concludes the new features and improvements in SciChart JS 3.4. We hope you enjoy these updates. For more details, be sure to check out our documentation and change log.